Hey guys, Dave Northeast Edible. We're here with some of our peaches. You can see this guy is loaded up with some, some fruit here. Yeah, there's a ton of fruit on this on this plant here. We're mid-July, early July, and we're gonna harvest these guys probably another another month or so. This is a later variety peach. Some of the beauty with peaches and choosing different varieties of plants is that you can space out your harvest. So peaches, you can get an early variety, you can get a mid variety and a late variety, and you can get almost two months of fruit. So you're picking some, the, the fruit that ripens early on an early ripening tree, you're planting, say, a month ago. The fruit that just ripens at a normal time on an early ripening fruit, you're, plant, you're picking two weeks ago. A mid ripening fruit, you're picking today. A late ripening fruit, you're picking in August. So you can see the benefit of getting multiple varieties of fruit extending your harvest and especially for a homesteader or someone who's, who's relying on that fruit to feed your family to feed yourself or to sell you're getting so much fruit at uh, spaced out throughout the year if you're getting all your fruit at one time even if you're a farmer and you're trying to sell it all at one time yeah it's great for picking you can pick it all at once and, and just move it but if you're if you're loading the market with with fruit all at one time, say a couple thousand pounds of fruit all at one time, you're probably not going to get the best price. You're not probably not going to be able to unload it all at one time to uh, maybe a wholesaler, but you're probably not going to be able to unload that all at, to, at your farm stand, at your, your farmer's market or your CSA. So consider getting a bunch of different varieties of say peaches, apples, pears, plums, and just spreading out that harvest. Yeah, it'll make a little bit more work to, to pick that fruit and you'll have to do it for more more times, more weeks of the year, but you'll get so much more harvest spread out through the whole season. It'll it'll reward you with a price point that you can get and just extended amount of fruit. So you go from say June to, to August, you can get peaches uh, depending on the variety. So Dave Northeast Edible, consider, like we say, we're, we're trying to get six months of fruit here in our, our homestead up in, up in New Jersey, up in the Northeast. And if we can do that, we're, we're uh, ahead of the game because we'll preserve some of it, we'll can some of it, we'll freeze some of it, and we'll eat a ton of it fresh. So Dave Northeast Edible, consider planting some, some edible plants at your homestead or your house and making that house, making your property work for you, provide you with a little bit of substance, a little bit of food, and give back to, to your, your family, your community, and yourself. Dave Northeast Edible, have a great day, guys.